this is Raider Man, and this is my. Hold on a second. Sorry, just closed the door in my room. Not my room, my grandpa's room. This is my second episode of my guide to face off, and this one is solely on strike packages. I couldn't pick the name out. By this, this gameplay, I'm you're gonna see why. What I all right. Well, first of all, strike packages. You have assault, support, and specialist. And start off. These games only go up two v two. They go up to thirty in team deathmatch. I believe it's fifty in kill. 50 if it's 3v3, and 1v1 it's only up to 15. So, well, any kill streak above, say, 7 or 8, like, if you're using a solid support, just, it just it's not, it, it, it's really no point. Because play, if you're running assault, playing against a decent team, getting up to 7, getting up to 7 for an attack helicopter, it's really going to be hard. Because even if they're not that good and they're not communicating well, thing is the maps are so small you're bound to get screwed by spawns anyways so it's like you're, you're not gonna get your kill streaks and an attack helicopter I've only run a lot of guys who some reason run blind eye in this instead of say sleight of hand or my personal choice which I believe is the best would be recon so I don't and also another thing is you're really the only useful okay if you get a predator predator it's one Maybe guaranteed kill, maybe two. If you're lucky in 3v3, it's three. And that's it. And that's only if you get up five kills. Because like I said, you should not be running hard line at all. You should be running assassin because the most useful thing by far is UAV because there's there's a lot of people who don't run assassin. And it just let like I said, the, my perk video, the best way to kill a guy is by knowing exactly what he's doing. And the best way to do that is by having, is by having a UAV up. That's it. You can specialist if you're at, that is viable in and three v three and two v two. You should my very humble opinion two v two one v one majority of three v three. You should be running UAV ballistic vest. I know you can get UAV in one less kill with assault, but you don't keep getting continuously and you have to get three kills without dying. Whereas I so said there's a lot of times where you get screwed by spawns. So I run support UAV ballistic vest so. I say the game game of the third you're gonna get at least probably about two to three vests of the game and they're gonna save your life. As you'll see I think coming up rather shortly how I already had one I gotta kill because of my ballistic vests. Well I I, I might have lived without ballistic vests, but there's I'd say about two times this game where I without a doubt would would have died, not gotten to kill anything without ballistic vests. Coming up right about Alright, here you go. Right there, right there. I got two kills. There is no way without bullets of vest I would have lived. And there, I said I'm, I'm dead. But there's no way to have gotten those two kills without bullets of vest. So we'll say right now, I sh I have three kills because of ballistic vest, and they have I'll say two 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 kills taken away. So that's a, a five kill swing. So imagine it. They'd have right now. We'd have it'd be fifteen. Okay, sixteen to thirteen. Which is a lot closer than what it is now, but so this game isn't over. I still have more ballistic vests to get. So I just, I really strongly believe that ballistic vests will go there. Yes, I died, but I, I, I didn't play that right. My aim was wrong. I don't, I don't focus on important because no you should be running a silencer in my opinion. But that's that's for a different episode. But I did not. This is my first game using the ACR from when I played this. This was on a couple of seasons ago. All right. Do what else should I talk about? But here we go. There's that one kill, two kills. There is no way I get those kills without ballistic vests. There's absolutely no way. I, I'm dead on the first guy without ballistic vests on. And this isn't even this isn't even without talking. This, this I can't. Unfortunately, I can't view my friend Thomas's um, first person uh, view, so I can't s tell whether or not. Ballistic Vest saved his life, and I'm sure they did. Maybe not as, didn't have as much of an impact as mine did. I literally got two double kills and one single kill because Ballistic Vest saved my life. This game, yeah, so now 27 to 20. We are down five kills. It would be 22 to 22 right now. It would be a tie game if I did not have Ballistic Vest on. I, you could say we'd be up one. Now we're, we're now it's a tie game, whatever. That's the point, is that ballistic vests are just by far the most useful thing to have. Like, in other stuff, you can, you can like, obviously, like, oh, if I'm playing with bigger people, 
you obviously yes you can get you're better off with like if you're if you're not gonna die getting hot stuff but like you're not gonna get an, an EMP you're not gonna get you're not gonna have you know, a recon drone it's you even though yes you can call it where the enemy is you're it's only for your 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 teammate is by himself you can't you can't do anything at all there I was just, it's like oh my god I should have killed him so now this is it's getting it's getting interesting we the other team was actually pretty smart and they just they camped out and then I just I just go to town here as you just saw and yeah so all right so imagine if I didn't have ballistic vests on I I wouldn't have had five kills I'd have five less kills to so be 25 to 25 they would have had two more kills so we'd be down 27 to 25 and we probably would have lost this game for four, for four ballistic vests so I know I was saying I was going to debate other ones but if you need any more evidence that you should have bullets and vests. I, I mean, this, I mean, I can guess I can try to find more games where bullets and vests are, save my life. But yeah, so moral of story: run UAV bullets and vests, and just do those to get anything higher. You're you only you got me. You don't get, if you're on recon drone, that's 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 60 seconds of where it's actually 1v2, but they know you, your, your teammate knows exactly where they are. But just it's just not worth it because list requests are going to save your life you're going to save your teammates life said if you're doing 3v3 i don't have a problem with some, one or two people running um specialist because you're just going to have so many ballistic vests but there's just there is no i'm sorry there is no downside to it you just saw a perfect example of why ballistic vests can help you a ton so this is Rayman mp and my next guy i'm going to over uh about four weapon setups that I like to use and I do well with in face off. So stay tuned for that. Peace out.